Well, some good news coming out of South Africa, where Omicron first emerged. The rate of cases there is dis declining just weeks after the highly contagious variant first appeared. Meanwhile, here in Rhode Island, holiday testing full sw in swing. New appointments made available today. And Matt Paddock has a look at both Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Matt. Chelsea Governor Dan McKee announcing on Thursday that over 3,000 tests were made available across eight different testing sites today as Massachusetts is gearing up to get students back in the classroom. I've seen long lines, short lines, quick lines, um, can't get our hands on at home tests. Governor Dan McKee making the call on Thursday to open up eight testing sites on New Year's Day, offering over 3,000 new COVID testing appointments. This as New Englanders continue to struggle with long lines and turnaround times when it comes to PCR testing. It's extremely frustrating when we're, we're trying to prevent and stop the spread and everything, but we can't get tested, we can't, and the process is so behind. You know, a PCR is taking seven days to get back. Meanwhile, people are having negative rapids and a PCR is roaming around out there and you could be positive and you're out, out and about. Despite delays, Dr. Nicole Alexander Scott says, that Rhode Island continues to be the nationwide leader when it comes to testing per capita, saying the state is working on relieving the pressures of long turnaround times on tests. We're uh, scheduling a test to see if she's able to go back to school on Monday. In Massachusetts, National Guard and MEMA handing out 227,000 rapid at home COVID testing kits, all in hopes that teachers and staff can be tested ahead of school Monday. I think we're one of the few states in the whole country that's been able to supply uh, both masks and test kits in advance of returning back to school. The tests were bought from out of state vendors earlier this week due to a shortage and were supposed to arrive Thursday, which prompted the teachers union to demand schools stay closed till Monday, a request that was denied by the education commissioner. You know, I think at the end of the day, um, we're trying to use every mitigation strategy we can uh, to have a good outcome in our schools. And so this is an important day for us. Here in Rhode Island, Governor Dan McKee says as of right now, there is no plan to switch to distance learning for schools, but says some districts may take a phased approach like Providence is doing. And that breakdown of that plan can be found on our website. You know the one WPRI.com. Live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.